The blue damselflies are a group that a lot of people struggle with in terms of identification. However, with the right identification features in mind, and especially if you focus on the males, it's quite possible even for the beginner to determine one species from another. The azure damselfly, like all blue damselfly species, is an extremely small animal and it takes a while to get your eye in and to actually be able to spot them. Think of something that's about the length of the end of your finger from the knuckle to the tip of your finger. So you need to be have a keen eye and focus in on the vegetation to actually spot them flying around. Their key identification features, the antihumeral stripes, which are the blue stripes on the back of the thorax, are well formed. They have a black spur on the side of the thorax. The abdomen is mostly blue with some black rings and black markings. Segments eight and nine are mostly blue with some black markings. And most importantly for male azure damselflies is there's a U-shaped mark, which is very characteristic on the back of segment two. For the females, the abdomen is mostly black and they come in either a blue or a green form. Azure damselflies are found right across Ireland with perhaps the exception of the extreme Northwest. They favour small lakes and ponds, and the best place to look for them is in vegetation along by the water's edge. This also brings the benefit that you're more likely to encounter males which are easier to identify. They're most common in enriched sites where water quality isn't the best, and their flight period is between May and August. The dorsal abdomen of the Irish damselfly is mainly black, Segments eight and nine are bright blue. And the males have a chevron mark on segment two with separate black sidebars. They have a black spur on the side of the thorax. And in the females, the abdomen is dark with a green underside. And segments eight, nine, and 10 have blue markings, which are quite characteristic. The Irish damselfly has an extremely limited distribution in Ireland focusing on the northwest of the country, and especially around the border counties. They favor small nutrient poor lakes with floating vegetation, and their flight period is May until July. In the variable damselfly, the antihumeral stripes are very often thin and sometimes incomplete or broken. They have a black spur on the side of the thorax, Segment eight is bright blue, while segment nine is bright blue with a black marking that resembles a crown. In the males, segment two has a characteristic wine glass shaped mark. The female comes in either blue or dark form. The variable damselfly is found right across Ireland, but with a distribution that favors the Midlands, West and Northwest. This is because they favor nutrient poor lakes and ponds and especially fens. Their flight period is from May until August. The common blue damselfly is a species that's quite often confused with other blue damselfly species. So it's worth spending some time focusing on the key identification features for this species. They have broad blue antihumeral stripes. The males have a characteristic club-shaped mark on segment two. Segments eight and nine are bright blue. And there's uniform black bands on the abdomen. They also lack the black spur that is common to most other blue damselfly species. The females have a characteristic torpedo shaped black marking on each segment. The common blue damselfly lives up to its name and is extremely widespread across the whole of Ireland. They favor small to large lakes preferring open shores. Again, the best strategy is to search by the water's edge, and you'll also benefit because you're more likely to find males in these areas and they're easier to identify. The flight period lasts from May until August. This short video clip of a common blue damselfly male gives you an idea of the size of the animal. You can clearly see the club-shaped marking on segment two, the uniform dark bands, and the lack of a black spur on the side of the thorax. The blue-tailed damselfly has blue antihumeral stripes, which are well formed. In the males, the pterostigma on the forewing are bicolored, 
and that's characteristic for the species. Segment eight is the only segment which is colored and the males it's bright blue. The abdomen otherwise is dark above and yellow below. And it lacks the black spur that most of the other blue damsel flies have. The females come in a variety of colors, including violet, blue, green, pink, and brown. But again, segment eight is the only segment which is colored on the abdomen, and that's characteristic. The blue-tailed damselfly is an extremely widespread and abundant species in Ireland. It's found in all but the most exposed and upland of sites, and it's very tolerant of enriched and indeed brackish waters. The flight period is from May until September. The scarce blue-tailed damselfly resembles its cousin, except that in the males, it's only the latter half of segment eight and all of segment nine, which are colored bright blue. The immature females are bright orange, and that's characteristic. The color turns green with age. The scarce blue-tailed damselfly has a scattered distribution across Ireland, favoring the coastal areas and the west. They favor shallow, sparsely vegetated, spring-fed or fluctuating wetlands, such as heaths, bogs, quarries, coastal fens, and dune slacks. Their flight period is from May until September. Hopefully we've given you a good introduction to identification of the blue damselfly species. If you'd like to find out more about Dragonfly Ireland, or get involved in our surveys or monitoring programs, please visit biodiversityireland.ie and click on the Dragonfly Ireland tab.